Greetings everyone. I am career engineer Mujahid Sakar. Today we are with you in the second missions of the weekly career management tasks. The goal in this series is to give you three missions each week and complete them until the next week. Deus, you will be able to better measure your interests, expectations and potential in the medium and long term. We think that such exercises are more important, especially since high schools and universities don't focus much on the next generation career engineering trends. But while doing this, our priority is not to give information, but to be a companion. We can provide brief explanations of the tasks mentioned here, but our priority will be to encourage you to the more research. Maybe none of these duties will be of use to you in the coming years. Maybe you will turn to a career field outside of our duties, but it doesn't matter. In fact, you will be fed indirectly from these tasks as he or she decides on other areas. It's extremely important that you see different points about your department and the industry in general. Before starting these tasks, you can support us if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thus, we can reach more people and be motivated for different content. First of all, exploring the concept of storytelling. After giving a brief definition of the concept of storytelling, I will ask you to investigate in more detail. Storytelling is the ability to tell any information or subject in a way that people can love. We can add emphasis, intonation, fluency, and all other details at this point. Same way, quoting quotes from a poem or story are also important points for good storytelling. Because what's more important than information in this period is to classify and market that information. Information is now everywhere. In the early 1900s, uh, if I remember correctly, a patent center manager had a phrase, everything that can be produced, produced up to now has been produced. I know it will be too, too ambitious, but a similar situation is valid today. Of course, different products or services will be produced, but if you look at the innovations in our lives in general, you can see that they are not very different from each other. Information is like that. Almost no information is produced from scratch. They are all a continuation of each other. The styles that come to the fore are those that can convey information in a more refined and simple way. Therefore, the concept of storytelling ranks high in both OECD reports and other studies on talent management. The reason for this is related to show business, as we mentioned. You too, regardless of your major, should come in the knowledge you have gained with storytelling. Imagine going for a job interview with a company, not just to run your own business. The way to be successful in that interview, interview will be your good storytelling. Why did you leave the, the last company? Why do you want to work in our company? Answering such questions satisfactorily depends on your ability to tell a story. For this, you should Listen to good storytellers a lot. For example, Ken Robinson is one of the best examples in this regard. In fact, you can find clues to storytelling in most TED speakers in general. And Ken Robinson was a name I knew because of TED. There is even a book called Talk Like TED on this subject, and I recommend it. The book examines why good TED speakers are successful by considering their style, content, and style. You can see all the examples here as a case studies. In my opinion, 
doing a case study is one of the best ways to learn about a subject. What makes this book successful is that it includes these case studies. Apart from the book, you can also review other speakers. I'm not saying this ju just to be a speaker. Storytelling is not just a requirement to be a good speaker. Storytelling is one of the sh shortcuts to reach the next generation career paths. For example, making reels, shorts, or TikTok, or flouting on Twitter. Good storytelling is required for this content to be resonated with the audience reader because people focus on uh, an average of eight seconds. You may not provide the most important information in the world in that video or tweet, by, but by marketing this information correctly, you can show it as the most important information in the world for people. It's not fake value cre cre creation, it's just marketing. The second one, taking notes on what you learned from this concept. Our second task is to take notes on what you have learned. In this task series, we have a request. We want you to get yourself an agenda. It doesn't matter what kind of agenda it is, as long as you only use it for these career exercises. Usually, our second task is to write articles on this agenda. For example, for this week, the topic we will write about is storytelling. After this video, research storytelling and write what you learned on your agenda. But it's not book information, it's your own thoughts. What did storytelling mean to me, you? Maybe you found, you found it very unnecessary, so it could be. Then write, this is in your notebook. I found his storytelling absurd because he has a reason. Or you can think of this agenda as a playlist where you write down new discoveries. For example, Parashar Jan is one of the best storytellers in Turkey. You can jot it down and then discover other storytellers based on it. Our aim here is this. We would like you to reread this agenda periodic periodically. For example, every three months or uh, two months, read all your notes res retrospectively. We will probably add this uh, to the weekly missions as well. Deuce you will be able to observe your own development more clearly. When you write only Wikipedia information here, it will not be your development. It will be Wikipedia's development. However, our priority is you, your career management. Perhaps you will find that the way you think today has changed. In order for us to see them fully, you need to write regularly. For example, you may have heard the concept of storytelling for the first time today. When you write some, something on the subject in your calendar, there will be some improvement, but you still will not have fully internal, internalized it. When we split it out over a 12-week period, you will have a better understanding of storytelling by combining it with other topics. For example, next week, we are going to want you to learn a related but different topic. Same again next week. As this continues for weeks, you will feel other doors open in your mind. Perhaps an Instagram page covering these topics will come to mind. Or you will meet people you, you will admire as you research and start a Discord group with them. If you have noticed, I always talk about maybe because none of them are certain. Maybe it will be more useful than we expected. Maybe it will not give any concrete output. But I think that it will contribute to you sooner or later. Steve Jobs had a uh, good saying about this. You can't connect the dots forward. They come together backwards automatically. Therefore, there is no need to do benefit accounting in advance. Do what is necessary and let the rest flow. The last one, receiving an audio recording summary in a foreign language. One of our classics on career tasks is to summarize those texts in a different language. 
Our goal here is for everyone to stream for a second foreign language. Because learning a new language makes the learning experience much more enjoyable. Here is our expectation to describe the things you noted in the second item as a sec sound recording. If you already know a second language, do it with it. Otherwise, choose a new language from scratch. Yes, you don't know that language, but Google Translate can help you. Write down the things you noted on the second page into Google Translate and narrate the sentences presented in that second foreign language with audio recording. It will be a very faulty sound recording at first, but you will get used to it over time and it will become even more enjoyable after you get used to it. It would be even better if you could publish this as a podcast if you just want it to stay on your phone. That's okay too. In general, we have two prioritize in these tasks. The first is to archive. The second is practical. For example, as you make that second foreign language the center of your life, you will handle grammar much easier because you will be familiar with that foreign language. Otherwise, if you don't hear a lot of a lot uh, in your life, if you don't speak in your uh, daily life, it's not possible to learn that foreign language only with a course. For that, you need exercises that you can make central to your life. And career management tasks are a good example in my opinion. You may not do that. You will still get a job, but probably standard jobs. When you apply this and learn a second, perhaps third foreign language, you will make a difference in your career. While doing this, you don't have to speak that foreign language perfectly. You probably can't talk anyway. Think of a foreigner who speaks your language. You can probably find a lot of mistakes in his or her accent because it's not his or her native language. So this is a normal situation. <coughs> your goal should not be speak perfectly but to be able to understand and speak that language. In this context, our expectation from you to receive short audio recordings every week. Being relevant to the subject you are learning with, uh, will make your learning experience more valuable. At the same time, since you are not in your comfort zone, you can learn more easily thanks to this challenge. I want to say, if you only tell about the subjects you know, you can't fully master the dynamics of that foreign language. But if you can say something even on the topics you don't know or just learned, this will make your language development much more valuable. This is what I am going to say in general apart from this. If there are parts that you want to add, wonder or criticize, you can write, you can write to us as a comment. Also, if you are inspired by this video, you can support us by liking the video and subscribing to our channel or join to our channel program. See you in the next videos, friends. Bye for now.